Hi, Sandy. Congrats on the win. Thanks for joining us. Um, we are going to start with Alex Simon and then Jeff Metcalf. Sandy, to turn around with the performance that you guys had Saturday and come out without Diana to get this, just what does that say to you as a coach? Uh, it, it shows that we are a pretty good team when we compete. You know, I think, and, and obviously we made shots, you know, third quarter kind of was reminiscent of some other games that we couldn't make any kind of shots, had no flow. Um, but for the most part, I, I just thought we had a little sense of urgency and we competed. Good things happened. To when did you find out that Diana wasn't available and then to kind of know that she's not available and get the performance you get out of BG and Skylar? Just what, it, what do you say about their night? Well, I, I kind of knew during the day it was, you know, a 50-50 chance and we're going to give an opportunity to warm up. Um, and I, I spoke to her, don't be, you know, don't, you've got to be smart here. And I, I obviously let Sophie know that she could be starting as well. She's so sort of preparing. Um, but, you know, I mean, that we, we had to. Like, we just got blown out by 30. We've been struggling a little bit. I mean, I think we had to show to ourselves what we're capable of. Um, so, you know, credit to a lot of different people, obviously Sky and and... and and BG were fantastic, but I thought Sophie really was great for us. I think Shay came in late and gave some steadying, another little playmaking ability there. So uh, Breezy's defense really, on, and Wilson was pretty good for the most of the game. So, but you know, uh, we needed it. You know, hopefully we can finish strong in the next two games. I was going to ask you, you mentioned Shay, but it seemed as if you were able to really trust the extra ability that she brings to playmake and also help you get Skylar off the ball, which was part of the issue that you had when Diana was out to have Shay have the night she had. How vital was that? Yeah, no, it was big for me because, you know, we, we weren't, we were getting a little bit ugly there for a while. So it's like, you know, Shay, Shay's a veteran, you know, she's, she's been played for so long. She's a steady and influence. She made those two big threes. She, um, so it just allowed, you know, Sky, it's tiring. I mean, obviously, I, I kind of needed to win, so I kind of played him a lot of big minutes, those two, and it was good for Sh uh, Sky just to get off the ball a little bit and let Shay take over. Um, you know, it worked well for us tonight. Next up is Jeff Metcalf, followed by Danny Thompson. After um, Griner got blocked there at the end of the fourth quarter, and then they, you just came out and went on that run uh, to start overtime, um, I mean, that's not necessarily easy to do on somebody else's court. No. And it's been really, uh, you know, it's weird that we play, we actually play better on the road. I wish that we could get some more wins at home and be in front of our home crowd. But, uh, you know, we're a good road team. And I think we like being on someone else's court here. But, look, you know, credit to BG. I don't know if that was a foul. If Wilson's getting that foul at the end of the court, fourth quarter. And I think BG should get the other one yeah, at the end of the game. But, um, it is what it is, but BG came out. Obviously, we went to her, and, and, and she made plays. I mean, she had a, an amazing game. Do you think she was extra motivated there going into overtime just because of the way regulation ended? Yeah, I think so, but I think she just wanted to get the win. You get tired of losing, you know, I think we did. And, um, you know, it shows that we have great chemistry and, uh, you know, others could step up and – we, even through the, the tough times in the third quarter, that was a tough time for us. We kind of just, we stuck together and, and, and found a way to win. And, you know, BG knows, her and Sky, they know, especially if Diana are out, you know, they, they have to be great every single game. Next up is Danny Thompson, followed by Nick Hamilton. Coach Danny Thompson with Three Point Conversion. Great to see you and great win tonight. Is this the type of win that can kind of start a snowball effect in the good direction you know not having diana tonight going on the road playing arguably the best team in the league um is this type the type of win that can snowball something not only towards the Olympic break but towards the second half of the season yeah look i, I hope so danny because like you know we've been disappointed with the way that we perform i think sometimes and sometimes it's not, it's not about excellence excellent as it's about competing I think we competed from everyone that stepped on the court. It wasn't always perfect, but you can still compete. And, um, and we talked about, you know, that we have to start, you know, showing what we're capable of doing. And um, that showed it tonight. We, we know every game is a, a new opportunity, a new challenge for us. Um, but this should hopefully give us some confidence and, and we can build on that. And, and then going, obviously, have the Olympic break and then going, that's what we're focused on in, in the second half of the season and, and, and hopefully – you know, finishing strong and, and getting the, the highest possible spot in the it doesn't have to be one, two, three, four. It's just the highest possible spot. So we're playing it. We're peaking at the right time in the playoffs. 
Um, next up is Nick Hamilton. Hey, Coach. Congratulations on the win. Um, you guys uh, went on that 9-0 run to open up overtime. What was said in the huddle uh, once the fourth quarter concluded that got, you, got your team on track to really go ahead and really score and be able to settle down and, and really buckle down and get the win? Well, I mean, we just talked about getting stops, stop, score, poise. You know, I think in the, in, in certain times we, when we played with poise, that's when we looked at the best. When we didn't, that's when... You know, it wasn't always great for us. It's just, you know, hey, let's just hang our hat on defense. Um, you know, we had our scout in place. We stayed true to that. And just just making sure the right people were touching the ball. Um, and BG made some great shots. And, and we didn't always execute what we wanted to. And we can do better that off that off the board. But um, found a way. So we, we've got to build on it. It's one game. But it's a game that we needed. And hopefully we can build on it. Thank you, Coach. We're going to finish up with another one from Alex Simon. Yeah, just one quick one, since I assume we won't talk to you tomorrow. At this point, looking ahead at the weekend, where would you, I guess, say Diana's a possibility of playing either game, both game is at this point? Yeah, to be quite honest, Alex, I'm not really sure. I mean, we'll go back to Phoenix and we'll get a, you know, get the test that we need to done. And really, it goes on how Diana's feeling. The most of, we have the Olympics going. We all know it's her fifth Olympics. Um, you know, that's a, that's a great uh, milestone for her and all the career achievements that she has to this date. Uh, we just wanted to get healthy. So d whether Diana or not plays is, is most likely be driven by obviously what the doctor says, but how she's feeling. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for the time, Sandy.